So here we have the Nissan Micro on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As you can see, we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 5,018. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, you've got trip computer, fuel economy information, uh, your audio, and eventually you'll get back around to the beginning again. Uh, the buttons that I was using to do that are just here. We have stereo control surrounding that. On the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, as well as phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair up the phone to the car, which is done on the touch screen in the center just here. You'll also see this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on our website and YouTube channel. When it comes to music, uh, this car has got uh, DAB radio, AM and FM as well. If you listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player, the auxiliary input, the USB input, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to music in this car. You pay your phone up here and then hit connect and follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, this car's also got a parking camera system. So you can see there the reverse camera. We can put it back into neutral. The camera will go off automatically. If we press the camera button, uh, from there, you can decide whether you want the guidelines uh, being shown or not. So you can turn them on and off again from here. Working our way down, we have the climate control. So you can turn on uh, the fan speed and obviously increase and decrease it from here. You can adjust the temperature up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with all of those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on. Or hit auto when you do that. The car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. Uh, you can override that whenever you wish to, simply by making any manual adjustment, you'll see auto will go off straight away. We have a heated uh, driver's seat and heated passenger seat, both with two different heat settings on each. We have a 12 volt charging socket, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs, and then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.